My name is Bill Corr. I'm a member of the Knights of Columbus, a fourth degree member, and I would like to talk to you about Veterans Day. Uh, I, I find this personal because of my flight school class 60 years ago, 54M, we lost 23 members who made the ultimate prep sacrifice, and some for training, some for Korea, and some for Vietnam. It's a lot of numbers, and I, it just affected me, and it's my honor to be here. I'd like to talk to you about Veterans Day. On the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month of 1919, World War II, I mean one, excuse me, came to end. It was a war to end all wars between Germany and the Allied forces. President Wilson proclaimed today should be filled with solemn pride and in heroism for those who die for the country's service with gratitude for our victory. At first it was known as Armistice Day, but on June 1st, 1954, Congress, or Congress passed, called it a bill to call it the Veterans Day, a day to honor all American veterans of all services, wherever and whenever they served. Currently there are 200,000 active American Armed Force members, Army, Navy, Marines, Air Force, and Coast Guard. These men and women are volunteers serving to keep our country free and great. Their sacrifice is great since it puts an additional burden on families, moms, dads, wives, husbands, sisters and children, brothers. Do you know that there are 75,000 children are separated from their moms and dads due to deployment. Tremendous number. We as a nation understand the necessity for sustaining a military force, and many people say step up to help our service members. <clears throat> it's been said there are two defining forces that have ever offered to die for you, Jesus Christ and the American soldier. One died for your soul, and the other died for your freedom. Please join with me for a moment of silence to recognize the devotion to duty and the sacrifice our troops have made for us and our country. Thank you.